The picture is out. Who was my mentor most recently after the base phenomena? Sir Wes Watson of San Diego. Now, plenty of people have been wondering, and I'm damn sure, most for certain, why I never spoke on the situation, why I never was public about the situation, and that's why I'm here to clear this video. First things first, never was about the clout, never was about no funny shit. There's a word called being a sycophant. A sycophant is someone who acts obsequious or servantile towards a certain degree, towards a certain person for a certain leverage, AKA a sucker. I got a song called Sycophants that I recorded in 2017 I never dropped. So this is just how I be and how I think, you feel me? There's a reason that I never spoke on these things in public, but mainly because of this. Everybody who knows me since YWI started 2012, 2013, maybe even 2011, way back in Banneker when I was in high school and it was senior year and I started rocking with the bass movement. Senior year, we in the, you know what I'm saying? So, young bass, I mean, young bass, cheeky, before YWI even started, I was heavy on that bass shit. I saw an individual that was inspiring, that I was inspired to become like, to, to model after, you feel me? And I threw my whole heart and soul into what it meant to be based. You know what I'm saying? And sure, I met Lil B several times. You know what I'm saying? Many occasions. Even got a track with him. If you watch these videos, now you know there's a secret track with Sheiky Sheik and Lil B. It could come out at any day. The reason that with this second mentorship, with this second blooming of a lotus flower, with the second discipleship with Wes Watson, why I never spoke on it is because the first time I was working with an individual I was inspired by, I totally lost myself. So there's two phases of self-actualization as we know. There's the first level where you realize YWI, you realize you could do what you want, and then you end up doing all of the worst shit possible. You end up just being an asshole in this universe, right? And then karma serves you up a real good dish of sit the fuck down, you feel me? Or get knocked the fuck out, you feel me? So what happened was, with the base situation, I was being an asshole. I had poor conduct. I'm not gonna blame nobody for nothing. All I know is that I was a bad leader. Quality of leadership is another question. But my whole thing was, I gave so much to being based. So much of YWI was on the back end. R.P. Ray Javelli, foes up, four corners, we across the globe with it, you feel me? R.P. Ray Javelli, go house still trapping, you feel me? A lot of fuck shit happened with that base shit, and I'm just not gonna speak on it, because it's water under the bridge, and I'm too fucking enlightened and beautiful to even be regretting or talking about some past shit. No hate, just keeping the shit statements. Next, so Ray Javelli even said it to me one time, and there's a tweet, hopefully his account is still there. He said, Focus on you, bro. Yeah, the base shit, the base shit, but focus on you. And I was so focused on becoming a part of base world records and, you know, being on the Lil B's, like, record label and being, like, being a rapper affiliated with base. When I had this whole YWY thing that I had to push, and I low-key put YWY on the back end and put my own swag on the back end to really embrace this base shit, you feel me? So with the, and it really came down tumbling when I realized the quality of the situation was trash. I'm just gonna be real, you feel me? Motherfuckers would've loved to see me fall off and be in a bum ass situation, but now we up tenfold, you know what I'm saying? Motherfucker came back like Kratos, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, keeping it G, keeping it positive, no love lost nowhere, but we gotta keep it honest, right? So next, second time around, I just prevented myself from being because the love that I got, everybody saw the way that I showed love and affection and affinity and commitment and dedication and evolution and contribution to base world. Everybody saw that shit, you feel me? Everybody was almost questioning like, what the fuck is wrong with him? The way that he's like showing so much love is because when I recognize swag and I recognize inspiration and I have people around me that I love, my natural instinct is to promote you, you know what I'm saying? To big you up. I give homage. I give homage at such an elite level that it almost looks like I'm like, worship. I'm not worshiping nobody. I just pay credit where credit is due. 
and I'm such a perspicacious individual and a highly perceptive individual, I can see value on a deeper level and articulate it about something to the point where it's like, damn, like, you feel me? So everybody saw how I move with bass, I move around with pink flags, I'm moving with the bass vans, I'm totally absorbed, absorbed into bass culture, right? I lost myself in that, you feel me? And I gave so much of that that when the when the when the base when the rug was pulled from under me, right, and a lot of sucker shit went down, rug was pulled from under me, I was sitting there, you know what I'm saying, without myself at the highest level. So with this endeavor, and it was like almost like with the with the base, I was trying to move and you know, not get clout off of it, but have my clout associated with it, right? So this time around, why I never spoke on my discipleship with Wes Watson and shit like that is because I have that natural instinct to show hella love. You feel me? And private encounters are private encounters. You know, I just didn't want to be associated with the energy and I still never want to be associated with that. Making this video for me is weird, but I know my intention. I never want to be associated with the energy of being affiliated with an individual to get clout or to get access and to have a perception around me. I always want YWY to be my standpoint, and I really mean that. YWY meaning your world is yours. Each individual is a sovereign entity, and we only vibrate because we truly vibrate. I hate the perception of clout chasing. I hate the sycophantic nature of most of these suckers in the world. You know what I'm saying? And I just don't ever want that. You know what I'm saying? So with this discipleship, I learned so much through very basic principles and it's invaluable and I wanted to all I got all I knew is that I had to pull my own weight and get myself to an elevated state without any public affiliation so that it's understood within myself that I have the capacity to become something great irrespective of under being under somebody's wing and that's not being disrespectful or denouncing the value of the individual the student teacher relationship you know what i'm saying i have no qualms with admitting that i learned from a superior soul named wes watson i might even give a longer video i might make another video about the encounter but don't go and text wes and interrupt his day asking him this question but if need be when i first met wes my first question face to face was who is in there, right? So when I talk about superior souls, you have to understand that I'm not attracted to the teacher for how he can teach me how to make money, Lambos, nothing. Once you realize that the, the being and the individual that is the, the formation that is Wes Watson, there's a soul in there. You have to ask yourself if you have the perceptibility in the high level mind to even think on this level, to transcend yourself, extend your empathy and see life through somebody else's eyes to the capacity that you could, because we could never really, right? Individual who has been through some shit was the answer. You know what I'm saying? God's people. You know what I'm saying? Who is in there? And that's who... I'm interested in knowing and that was I was attracted to learn from West because I understand the degree of conduct that is necessary to get through a 10 year stretch in California prison and prison in general and to come out at that degree. So what have you why your world is yours? I've dropped it all throughout. You can look at everything from the beginning, from the park bench, view change. If anybody's been paying attention, they've been paying attention. You know what I'm saying? But I've even been saying big bro this, big bro that. Right, from the park bench to the condo. Yeah, exactly. What up you why your world is yours? Consider the vibrations raised. So now that the picture is out, I ain't never was ashamed of the situation and I ain't never pull up on no sucker shit. I just know I had to move a certain way to solidify core principles and core value in myself. And still moving forward, I don't plan on since I, I I don't even know how to navigate this type of shit. I'm not even gonna be I'm not even gonna lie. You know what I'm saying like I don't know how to navigate. This this is what happens when you have a lot of swag mutually, respectively, and everybody's in. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never doing nothing for clout. You feel me? Whatever you why your world is yours. Some of us are operating from a different 
magnum opus. Some of us are operating from true delivery of value to the to the universe on a whole different scale, bro. You know what I'm saying? So I just I see a lot of sucky shit, you feel me? I experience a lot of sucky shit from people. And I just I just hate being a sucker, bro. I, I don't even want to be perceived as that shit, you feel me? Even you know what I'm saying? When when the bro came to New York, I'm gonna just skip ahead a little bit. Bro came to New York and the first week that I dropped the advancing individual, 1111 was the release party. Fudge uh suddenly Wes is in New York doing something. He's in like fucking Columbus Circle or some shit. I'm telling myself, I wanna go pay respect and say what's up, but I'm telling myself, don't even do it. I'm telling myself, stay out the way. You know what I'm saying? Because every time I've encountered Wes, I always said, I have work to do. I have work to do. I have work to do. And a lot of y'all don't realize how selfish it is to consistently interrupt people when you have everything you need to succeed. You know what I'm saying? So I know that there are many people that that individual needs to help working on a different scale so for me to knock on the door here and there only thing i want to do is send a kite saying i love you here and there and sometimes i feel weird about that you feel me motherfuckers got me feeling weird about making this video everybody right, your world is yours we just telling the story you feel me shouts out to wes for everything you know what i'm saying maybe i'll tell more stories maybe i won't but this ain't about the clout this is just to clarify why the fuck i never spoke on shit you know what i'm saying it's because when it came to being based, I gave so much of my soul to that shit. You know what I'm saying? And then it was just like I lost myself in that shit. So this time around, and I just wanted to establish my own respect in the world individually. And as the as the master teacher, you know what I'm saying, says, you know what I'm saying, what did he say? You don't need the master plan. You need to master the plan. You feel me? So that's all I knew was like, Every time I pulled up, it's like, I got work to do. I'm, I knew that I'm not enough, you know what I'm saying? So I'm not going to get in the way and fuck around, you feel me? I'm just going to continuously make the man, you feel me? Make the man, make the man, make the man, make the man. And y'all ain't never seen me switch. And the fact that on the, on the outside, I never turned my back on the basic principles of the program, nor will I ever, was my homage to show y'all that... I'm still riding for the mission. There's been plenty of times where I'm like, man, I don't got to wake up at 2.45. Uh, nah, fuck it. Why not? Why not? We tied in. We locked in. Motherfuckers thinking, oh, wait, 2.45 clocked in. Shouts out to Wes Watson. You heard? Shiki Shiki, your world is yours. You have to seek superior insight. You feel me? Like I said in the past video, Olympians, different aspects of exalted degrees of chakra mastery, bro. You know what I'm saying? You're not coming to either of us for a workout. We're on a whole different scale. So now the information's out there, it's out there. I, I can't leave this world knowing that that history isn't out there, you feel me? Imagine that. Certain things in history, like I said in the caption, certain events in the change of the course of human history have not been made known to the masses but this one has. Whatever you why your world is yours. It's been long overdue. Many people are wondering why the fuck I haven't done this. And this is why. I just don't like that sycophantic, obsequious bullshit. You know what I'm saying? I remember being, just giving my whole soul to this base shit. You know what I'm saying? And the way that it pulled from under me. So now it's really why you why. All mutual love and respect. You know what I'm saying? And I... I'm pretty sure people have just been watching like, all right, what's, what's he going to do with it? What's he going to do with it? You know what I'm saying it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I'm still standing on my own way. I'm not trying to buddy, buddy, click up for no clout. You have to pull up as a valuable individual. You know what I'm saying? And that's the baseline principle of everything. Be a valuable contributive offering to any unit that you're going to be a part of. You feel me? Most people pull up to units with their hand out trying to get some shit. You know what I'm saying? And I hope that wasn't the perception. I just know that I still have mad work to do. You feel me? And it's all love. Why don't you why your world is yours? Consider the vibrations raised. You know what I'm saying? GP, community, greater purpose. Why don't you why? You gotta ask, who were his teachers? Lil B the bass guy, unlock the swag. Wes Watson, 
tied up the conduct. Superior swag, superior conduct. Hey, it's like a motherfucking. It's like I'm a ninja in the in the Naruto universe. You don't really want to fuck with my levels at Keke Genkai. You feel me? Shiki Shik, your world is yours. I'm gonna end the video there. Superior conduct is literally the only answer. Keep this shit simple. If you can't master your monkey, I'm not delivering you any higher level wisdoms in this universe. You do not deserve it. Show us and earn your degree of initiation. You know what I'm saying? It's degrees to masonry, right? So there's degrees to initiations, right? By proving that you can handle the basic responsibilities of your primate existence. Sober, fit, enlightened, and rich. That's just what it is. Consider the vibrations raised. From the park bench, the views have definitely changed. Shouts out to Wes.